on this online learning platform, we are offering three different training packages for three different target groups. Now you are in the section of course number three, which were prepared to users who would like to learn how to analyze the quality and the contents of a non-financial information report and use the results of the analysis to formulate a social report. It means that this course gives you a theoretical background. It helps you to be able to analyze the quality and the contents of a non-financial report and it gives you also the main information about how to write a report assessment document. For doing this, we suggest you a sequence of six modules, namely the modules 2, 3, 4, 9, 10 and 11. I will divide in two parts the modules. The first four will, will give you an overview on the legal background, the key concepts and analysis methods. The last two, so the mo modules 10 and 11, will provide you basic methods and instruments to write an assessment report on a non-financial report using the data found during the analysis process. So, what will you learn with these modules? With module 2, you will have an introduction to the topic of non-financial reporting by providing information about the legal background and reporting requirements the key concepts and frameworks of non-financial information reporting. This means that at the end of the module, you will be able to understand the background on European Union's non-financial reporting directive and its possible scenarios and impacts. You will be able to describe the possible impact of non-financial information reporting, understand its key concepts such as materiality, stakeholders, and key performance indicators. You will also know different reporting standards, its structure and hierarchy, and finally you will learn more on GRI as an involuntary standard. With module 3, you will learn about the role of workers' representatives in non-financial reporting processes. At the end of the module, you will be able to identify contact points between non-financial information reporting and your field of work. You will learn what can be the motivation and objectives of workers' representatives and what can be the possible practical value of non-financial reports for them and relatively to this, the relevant content. And finally, you will have some good practices for dialogue and participation in the reporting process. Module 4 will deepen the knowledge of analysis methods and tools already briefly mentioned in the module 2. As first thing, you will have a general overview of methods, aims and purposes. You will know a set of analysis methods for the different analysis purposes. Then the analysis tool elaborated in the Senofia project will be introduced. You will see a practical approach to the tools used, the presentation of the different parts of the tool. And finally, the module gives you the opportunity to carry out the first analysis with the Senofia analysis tool and evaluate the first analysis results. The module 9 depends your knowledge on uh, non-financial information key concepts, also briefly evocated in module 2 and module 4. The concept of materiality and completenesses it will be presented in detail and you will learn about how to carry out a consistency assessment in non-financial reporting. As last part of the module, you will know a list of most relevant KPIs for workers' representatives. Module 10 is intended to teach participants how to write an objective and critical social report by sensitizing for obstacles and introducing them to argumentation theory. It is mainly an interactive learning module based on writing assignments. At the end of the module, participants will be able to understand the basic structure of a social report, how to transfer results from analysis tool into a working document, and they will also know why language is important if one wants to stay objective yet critical, and how to formulate a stringent line of argumentation. The purpose of the module 11 is to show participants means 
and strategies to disseminate analysis results in form of a social report to possible target groups. So at the end of the module, the participants will be able to understand how social report can be used for dissemination of analysis report. They can also identify possible target groups and develop a dissemination strategy. We wish you a pleasant and successful work. Thank you.